Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Welcome to the new playlist to the channel, DIYs. That's right, do it yourself. Now I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty good at making things look a little bit more expensive than they really are, especially around the house. Little projects here and there. So floral walls or floral art is very popular. You see it at weddings, you see it at baby showers, you see it as art in your home. We'll do a quick tutorial about that. All right, super simple. It's all coming up next. <gasps> it's Bunny. <laughs> Here is some marble art that I actually did myself. This is another DIY that's coming soon, but this is the guest restroom, one of the guest restrooms. And as you can see, the wall is pretty bare, but I have some neutral colors, which gives me more freedom to just kind of be creative and to have fun. And I thought what would really make this restroom pop is some floral arrangement art to give it some life. When someone says life to a room in the world of interior design, it means that whether it's real or faux, you want to give the impression that there is life, that it's airy water in a room. I measured the area 20 by 24 as the minimum and got about seven bouquets of flowers from Michaels. You can use a board, you can use a picture frame, but I chose specifically canvas because it gives it a lift from the wall and there's already the wooden beam supports for nails and hooks on the wall. So now we are just making sure to pull the entire unit from the stem. Look at the foundation of the design and make sure that you're pulling it from the stem and not the petals. So now I'm just trying to figure out the foundation of how it's held together. And when it comes off very easily, you know that you found that source. So I found that I just have to pull it slightly and not cut anything off. So just pop those off of the stem. Be careful not to pull the petals from the plastic foundation or it will mess up the entire design of the flower. Now, as you're pulling the flowers, you'll notice that the foundation has a slight applicator stem. Cut that off close to the base so your flower will lay as flat as possible. And now I'm just getting an idea of how I want my flowers to lay. And I chose them to be very full to go across the entire canvas. So now I have a nice pile of flowers. I removed them from the stem and cut off the application stem so they can lay nice and flat. And you want to have your canvas as full as possible. I am using a hot glue gun because it's awesome on canvas and it sticks very well. Now, depending on the flowers that you get, since my flowers are very full, I will fill this canvas pretty quickly. If you choose flowers, of course, that are smaller, you will need more bouquets uh, to be purchased. Now, these flowers I got from Michaels, they were very affordable. I always go when they have a 40 to 50% off sale. These bouquets were about $9, but they were 50% off. So that is a good deal. As you can see, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of be the artist that you are and fill it in. I wanted it to be very plush um, and look very thick. So I just decided to glue them on any spaces that I see to make sure that there's not too much pink in one area, too much white. These colors are peach, light pink, white, off-white, just giving it a very blushy type feel. I didn't want any colors that were too dominant. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in and make sure that I fill up the canvas.
super simple, super easy. The total time of this craft with pulling off of the stems and cutting off the application stems and applying to the canvas took me about 40 minutes. So a little under an hour, but super simple, right? Nice and plush and full. So let's take another quick look at the before picture, setting the foundation of a very neutral color scheme. And after, what a pop of color, right? Now, some of you may be wondering, why isn't this bigger? It could have went all the way down a little further, but if you add too much, then it starts to take over the room, and that's what I did not want. I just wanted a pop of plush and a pop of color. This restroom is not anywhere near done. This is only the beginning, but what an amazing start and what an easy craft. I hope that you like this really quick and simple DIY. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to see some of your projects and your ideas. More coming soon. This is a television show and movie review channel, but more playlists will be added as we go along. Can't wait to share more. Until next time, see you later. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Bye.